If that was a little confusing, let's see if you'll bark up the wrong tree when we ask you to see if you can identify this strange contraption and its setting. Surprisingly enough, it has nothing to do with atomic research, although we'll guarantee the answer will rock you just the same. If you haven't already guessed, and so as not to spoil one second of a visit we've all wanted to make some time or other, we're in the rock-making department of a sweet factory in Wood Green, London, and that strange-looking machine was where the rock toffee is first boiled. The basic recipe, for the benefit of those do-it-yourself enthusiasts who have a sweet tooth, is 100 weight of glucose and 100 weight of pure cane sugar boiled at 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, come to think of it, perhaps it's not worth going to all that trouble. For the job that's always puzzled us, the art of lettering the rock, Let's meet foreman Jerry Toll, who's been making rock for 38 years, a skill handed down by his father, who had been making it for 48 years. Each letter is built separately, thin strips of toffee cut to length and fitted together so that the visible ends form the outline. When the letters have been fitted in, this large lump of toffee, called a batch, weighs about 200 weight. Still in a soft, doughy state, it moulds easily in the skilled hands of these craftsmen and is rolled into shape like a huge, appetising Swiss roll. The next stage is to stretch the rock, and this is the way they do it. The men work at speed because the whole process must be completed within one hour, otherwise it becomes too hard to handle. The final rolling and stretching is done by hand until what started as a lump of toffee, not much longer than a walking stick, has become 180 yards of trim rock. Although this rolling looks easy enough, it is in fact a highly skilled job, men like Michael Young having to serve an apprenticeship of six years. Finally, the rock is cut into strips seven inches long, in itself a fascinating performance. The finished product is in fact practically a work of art it seems a pity to eat. Oh well, who cares about art anyway? 